Hey guys, welcome to the Highly Sober Hangout Movie Review Sneak Peek Series. Uh, I am your host, Gerald Yelverton, and today we will be reviewing the 2013 drama Fruitvale Station. Now, once again, the Sneak Peek Series is a shorter series than our normal roundtable. It's just me, and we will be talking about current films that are in the theater. Uh, Fruitvale Station is the reportedly true story of Oscar Grant III, a 22-year-old Bay resident who crosses paths with friends, enemies, family, and strangers on the last day of 2008. This movie is written and directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan, Melanie Diaz, Octavia Spencer, Kevin Durand, and Chad Michael Murray. This is the true story of Oscar, a 22-year-old Bay Area resident who wakes up on the morning of December 31st, 2008 and feels something in the air. Not sure what it is, he takes it as a sign to get a head start on his resolutions, being a better son to his mother, whose birthday falls on November on New Year's Eve, being a better partner to his girlfriend, who he hasn't completely been honest with as of late, and being a better father to T, their beautiful four-year-old daughter. He starts out well, but as the day goes on, he realizes that change is not going to come easy. He crosses path with his friends, family, and strangers, each exchange showing us that there is much more to Isaac to, to Oscar than meets the eye. But it would be his final encounter of the day with the police officers at Fruitvale BART station that would shake the Bay Area to its very core and cause the entire nation to be witness to the story of Oscar Grant. Um, now, I saw this in the theater twice. Um, I wasn't... 100% familiar with the uh, the true story um, in 2008. I mean, I remember um, parts of it, and uh, and like I had to um, reintroduce myself to the story um, before and after seeing this in the theater. Um, so when I saw this day play out, when I saw the film play out, um, it was not a total surprise at the end, but just the uh, the way that they showed it and what actually happened. Um, you know, if you don't know, um, I guess it's not really a spoiler because it's a true story and it kind of rocked the nation, but Oscar Grant, um, was, uh, in an altercation on a BART train, a subway train, um, on New Year's Eve coming back home, uh, I believe it's Oakland from, um, San Francisco, and there was an altercation on there, like a fight broke out, 
the BART train stopped and then the BART security or police, you know, started pulling people off the train. Um, um, Oscar Grant uh, was one of them and he was handcuffed and while he was handcuffed, they actually um, shot him, shot and killed him. Um, and, you know, because it's in 2008, it's, it's almost present day. So the altercation was caught on several um, cell phones on their cameras. And so after I saw the movie, I actually went and watched the uh, the actual footage on YouTube. And uh, it, it's just shocking. Um, but the movie is it's absolutely, it, it's beautiful. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the year of 2013. Um, Michael B. Jordan pulls off just an astounding performance. Um, it, the way that he just in, kind of embodies his character... Um, is is great uh, his story is 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 wonderful um, it's actually is following oscar through his day so michael b jordan's in pretty much every single scene of the movie as it follows him you know, as his day uh, plays out and just the the differences that his uh he was trying to make in his life i mean it, it, the movie is, is full of flashbacks so you kind of see the life that he led before that and then how he's trying to change it on this day, um, you know, with his daughter, with his, his girlfriend, his mother. Um, it flashes back to him, you know, in jail and saying he's never going to do it again and, you know, loses his job and tries to get it back and really tries to turn over a new leaf. Um, yeah, it was it was it was really good. And, and Michael just played it um, almost just effortlessly. It was just it was very natural in all of his interactions. Um, Melanie Diaz, uh, who plays his girlfriend and the mother of his child, uh, did a really good job. I wasn't really familiar with her um, before this. I've seen a couple of things that she was in, but um, I wouldn't have known it was her. It wasn't until after I went and saw this movie that uh, I actually looked back at the things that she had been in. And um, yeah, she was, she was really good as well. Uh, Octavia Spencer... I really think that the the heart of the story lies with her because after the um, events that happen at the BART station when Oscar is, is in the hospital and ultimately the, um, we find out that he passed away, Octavia is the one who, uh, playing his mother, who really um, embodies that, that sorrow and just the way that she plays it. I mean, there wasn't a dry eye in the theater that I was in. I, I saw it twice and cried each time um just the the choices that she makes as an actress and um you really just feel for for her and for their um oscar and, and sofina's sofina's his girlfriend uh their daughter um kevin duran and chad michael murray uh play the the officers at the station um i know kevin duran just because he has a pretty distinct look but i can't really place what he's he's been in um i'm more familiar with chad michael murray uh, because you know i used to watch the show uh one tree hill and in a couple of the other movies he was in uh, i think he was he was in that uh the remix uh house of wax and uh he also guest starred on um dawson's creek so uh, i was really familiar with him he did a, a good job he kind of he plays the character that actually uh shoots um oscar um and so yeah it was it was good I, I thought the story was written beautifully um the choices in direction and the shots it, it, a really memorable memorable story um i think this became a big hit at uh sundance and um so i i saw this in the theater um a while ago actually back in the in the uh, early summer uh, early middle of summer and um, yeah the reason I'm talking about it now is because uh, it's still playing at, at certain places and um, right now we're at the beginning of award season and this is a film that uh, was expected to do pretty well now I know up till now um, the critics awards uh, the critics have announced you know their favorites um, we have the um, nominations out for the Screen Actors Guild Awards and the Golden Globes. 
and it looks like right now Ryan Coogler has uh, won several awards and is being nominated in categories as um, Best New Director or Best Breakthrough Director. Michael B. Jordan has won some Best Breakthrough uh, Performances. Um, I think it was the beginning of the season, it was uh, expected that Michael B. Jordan would have a shot at, you know, the the Best Male Actor Oscar um, and awards. Um, just because the field is so um, filled with great performances this year, uh, it was kind of a long shot, but it, it in my opinion, is definitely well-deserved, and I do think that he should be nominated. Um, there's also a lot of talk about Octavia Spencer being nominated for Best Supporting Actress, uh, which she won, I believe, two two years ago for The Help. Um, but her performance is definitely, definitely um, is well-deserving of that honor, and I, I think she should get it. But it, it looks like Fruitvale Station is being shut out of most of the the big awards up till now. I mean, the critics really like it. Um, it didn't do extremely well. Um, at the box office, uh, looks like it only, well, not only, well, it grossed um, somewhere in the range of uh, 16 million. Yeah, somewhere in the range of 16 million. It made $386,000 on its opening weekend, but I don't believe that was a, a large release. So it didn't do horribly, but um, I think this is one of those, it has an indie type of feel. Um, so, yeah, it's, it was good. It comes in just at 85 minutes. I mean, parts of it make you laugh. Um, a lot of it will make you, you cry, but it's an interesting story. And I think that Ryan Coogler really delivers in showing, you know, a day in the life of, because there's a lot of these movies that come out, but this one just has a nice flow. Um, you don't necessarily know where it's going if you're not familiar with the actual story. And, and it's quite shocking and the way that they play out the events is almost verbatim of what you see in the youtube video um so yeah it's a it's a really big and uh and beautiful story um it's rated r but um you know i i definitely recommend it. this is another movie you can kind of see it, sit and watch by yourself and really appreciate it or see it with someone else and uh talk about you know what you what you saw um, so I would give this movie uh, four and a half out of five stars. Um, it's it, it's really great. Uh, oh, okay, here are some of, some of the awards that it's been in. Um, it actually looks like it won Sundance, which is... It's been an interesting 48 hours. Which is awesome. Um, and uh, the Independent Spirit Awards, uh, it's nominated for Best Feature... Best Male Lead, Best Director, uh, Best Supporting Female for Melanie Diaz. So um, it definitely has a shot at uh, some more awards during this award season. It's still pretty early. And um, I really encourage everyone to go out and see this movie. It's, uh, it's a beautiful story. So yeah, four and a half out of five stars. This is Gerald Yelverton. Uh, you can check us out at Highly Sober Productions um, at gmail.com if you want to get in touch with us. Uh, our website is www.facebook.com backslash Highly Sober Productions. Um, and you can check us out on uh, Twitter at Highly Sober. So yeah, I will uh, catch you later. Uh, go out and see Fruitvale Station. And thanks for being awesome. Gonna be alright It's on tonight Gonna be alright It's on tonight